Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Our today's video is regarding a topic about which we have received many requests both on our YouTube videos through the comment section and also through our DMs on our Instagram handle. That is how to study and understand Materia Medica for its use in clinical practice. And so here we are with this video. So, so guys do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And so guys, the study of Materia Medica for the clinical practical purpose mostly depends upon the way or the approach you use in your practice. For example, the practitioners who practice on the basis of keynotes mostly need to know all the keynotes of any remedy which they can learn from the books like Allen's keynotes. Though this remains true, any homeopathic remedy can be studied under following headings. And in this video, we will also recommend or tell you about the books for studying these headings and also at the end we would tell you few tips which will ease your study of homeopathic remedies and so do watch this video till the end. So broadly the headings under which a remedy should be studied can be divided into three types. The first one is the source information of that remedy, second is the symptomatic understanding of that remedy and the third one is the contemporary or newer understanding of that remedy. So now the source information of any homeopathic remedy involves following different points. The first one is the origin or the main source of a particular remedy. For example, aconite is a remedy prepared from the tincture of the whole plant including the roots when the plant begins to flower. The next important is the common name of that remedy and also the family or the kingdom to which it belongs. For example, aconite, common name monkshood, belongs to the family Ranunculaceae. Now this will help you to understand the newer or contemporary understanding of this remedy. The next point that you should study is the non-medical use or the of that particular plant, mineral or animal. Now this just has to be referred and not learnt as this will sometimes give you the information about the doctrine of signature of that particular remedy. Now the next is if a particular remedy is a poisonous substance in its crude state for example lachesis poison then it's very important to understand just the basics of the toxicological action and the organs upon which it acts that will help us to understand the spheres of action of this particular remedy as when as and when it is potentized now the next thing is if some remedy is also used in other systems of medicine then that too has to be referred to understand the action of that remedy for example sizisham jambolinum is a remedy which is used in ayurveda too for reducing the blood sugar levels all these points and their information are available on the internet and on the websites like wikipedia so the next point is to study or to understand the symptomatic understanding of any remedy now the very first point is to begin and study the symptomatic approach is to understand the pqrs or the most important keynotes of that remedy for example the important keynotes for prescribing aconite can be the fear of death or predicting the time of death on a mental level and intense unquenchable thirst for cold water on a physical general level so for studying the keynotes we can make use of the books like allen's keynotes lippi's keynotes or redline symptoms of materia medica or even bogus synoptic key to materia medica the next is to study the mind of any homeopathic remedy now this aspect of any homeopathic remedy is extremely vast and also very interesting at the same time now for studying the mind of major constitutional remedies dr philip bailey's homeopathic psychology of the major constitutional types is an extremely good book and it covers diverse aspects of the major constitutional personalities apart from this the mind of any homeopathic remedy can also be studied by understanding the important three marked or single remedy rubrics of mind from various repertories uh, the various websites like homeoint.org or homeopathiccommunity.com can prove really useful other good books for studying the mind of any homeopathic remedy are kent's lectures on homeopathic materia medica or dr m l tyler's drug pictures the next point is to study a remedy and its spheres of action of any homeopathic remedy and the action of that remedy on those specific organs and then finally we should try to understand the important physical symptoms of that remedy and for this purpose the books like patak's materia medica or allen's keynotes or borick's materia medica are really very useful now while studying these symptoms we usually find many remedies coming close to a particular remedy 
and so it becomes important to compare those remedies and the books for this purpose are comparative matra medica by dr e a farrington and also dr n m choudhury's matra medica now these physical symptoms can be studied under the subheadings like location modalities causative modalities or physical general features or constitution etc and at last the remedy has to be studied from the contemporary or newer understanding of these remedies which can be studied under the headings like family class or place of a mineral in the periodic table etc and the various themes related to them now this can be studied from the various books like dr shankaran sir's structure or senses and schema or survival series of the books etc and also from few other books of dr yan shalton and few websites like interhomeopathy.org or homeoprovings.info etc studying any remedy from all these angles makes our understanding of that remedy very clear and now guys finally let's have a look at few tips for studying materia medica clinically now the first tip is to always study drugs in group or in families for example the remedies of ranunculaceae family should be studied together as it will help us to understand and also differentiate between the similar remedies the next is to always read the provings of our homeopathic remedies and the books for reading the provings are herring's materia medica or allen's encyclopedia of materia medica etc that will clear the understanding of any particular drug and finally we should also try to study these remedies from the various cases of the stalwarts as that is ultimate source for studying a remedy and for applying it in our clinical practice so guys we hope that this video is very useful for you all and it will help you to remember the remedies and apply them efficiently in your practice so if you guys liked our video do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel as your love and support keeps us motivated and also do let us know your valuable feedback through the comment section below